Bacillus subtilis. Isolation and screening of Bacillus subtilis from soil for protease production. So, this is our group members. Introduction Proteas are the main enzymes produced for microbial source of which only few are recommended as commercial producers. Of these, strains of bacillus species dominate the industrial sector. The major uses of free proteas occur in the food, dairy, pharmaceutical textile and industry dry cleaning, detergents, meat tenderization and others. Proteas is an enzyme which breaks down proteins and peptides. Bacillus species are the main producers of extracellular proteas. The proteas can improve blood circulation, elevate edema, reduce the inflammation and minimize muscle pain. A protease producing bacterial strain was isolated from soil sample and was identified by morphological, cultural and biochemical characters as well by existing as rRNA sequencing as Bacillus subtilis. Weight the agar powder at the specific amount. Then, measure the specific amount of water. After that, mix the specific amount of water with the agar powder that had been weighed. the agar powder in the appropriate volume of distilled water. Then completely dissolve the powder and pour into the media bottle. Then auto cap the media for 15 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius. Take out the media from the auto clave machine and cool down the media for a few minutes. Then, light a Bunsen burner before pour the agar. After that, pour the melted agar into the petri dish. Then, seal the media plate and store in cold place. Lastly, don't forget to label the aga name and the date. One of the methods that we use is soil dilution method. And the material used is pipette, petri dish, spatula, test tube and test tube holder, measuring cylinder and forceps. 
Next, we move on with the steps in severe dilution method. First, label the plate with the dilution factor. And next, using the sterile forceps, place one pellet into 10 ml of pre-warm phosphate buffer. We will take the microorganism suspension in order to achieve the homogeneous suspension. And then, we pipette 1 ml from suspension into 9 ml of phosphate buffer. Repeat this process until all the tubes have been diluted. Spread plate is a technique that ensures we get an even lawn of microbial growth all over the surface of an agar plate. We often use this for testing the effectiveness of cleaners or antibiotic resistance. So to do this we need to inoculate the surface of the agar plate with half a mil of our culture. So we have our pipette, it's set up at 500 microliters which is half a mil. So I'm going to transfer half a mil of our culture onto the surface of the agar plate. So stir our pipette tip. So again, open our culture, sterilise it, draw up half a mil, and then simply pipette that onto the surface of the agar plate. Pop the lid back on, eject the tip, and to spread that we use a glass spreader. To sterilise that, this equipment is stored in alcohol, so tap off the excess and then simply pass through the flame so that you set the alcohol alight. Then the alcohol will burn off and that will sterilise the surface of the tool. So again, give it 5-10 seconds and then using the tool, just gradually spread your culture out so it's covered the surface of the agar. Try and get a nice even spread right the way across the surface. Put the lid back on, spread it goes back in the alcohol, your plate goes into the incubator. The next step is gram staining. Gram staining is used to differentiate two log group of bacteria based on their different cell wall constituent. The gram stain procedure distinguishes between gram positive and gram negative group by coloring this cell red or purple. For the method, after place the sample on slide and heat fixing the sample, stain the sample with crystal violet for 1 minute and rinse with water. Then, stain the sample with gram iodine for 1 minute. Then, rinse with alcohol for 5 seconds and rinse with water.
After that, counter stain with safrani for 30 seconds, rinse with water and allow to air dry. Lastly, observe the shape and color of sample under the microscope. Casing Hydrolysis by using skin meat agar. Skin meat agar is used to test for the microorganism ability to digest casein protein broken down into small amino acid and peptide. For the method, firstly, inoculate the sample on the plate either a straight line or a zigzag. After that, inoculate the plate at 35 or 37 degrees Celsius. Examine the plate by observation the clear zone of microorganism hydrolysis. For the positive casing hydrolysis result, the casing will digest by microbes that produce proteins. For the streaking pattern of streak line, we'll call it the worm. Spread plate time power of negative 1 and time power negative 2, the number of colony grow are higher. While for the spread plate time power of negative 3 and time power negative 4, the number of colony is moderate. These plate are the best choice to do striking method. Then for other two spread plate time power negative 5 and time power negative 6, the number of colony grow is low. Results also show clear zone is occur at a round of the colonies that show that its protease producer occur on the, that plate. This is because hydrolysis casein by protease produced and the protolytic activity occur. Next, strict plate method. Basically, strict plate technique is used to grow a single colony on media surface and the desired types of colony are isolated and sampled onto the agar. Based on the result, uh, there are four quadrant pattern presents on the agar. From the result, it shows that some of bacillus subtilis are separated and well spaced from each other. According to Sprut J, isolation is first obtained in the third or fourth streak where the purest, youngest bacteria are found. And the colony has the same appearance which is rough, opaque, juicy white or slightly yellow with jagged edges. Gram staining. From the result, purple color is occur after gram staining. This is because gram positive bacteria stain purple due to the thick peptidoglycan layer, which is not easily penetrated by the colorizer. That shows the Bacillus subtilis is gram positive and have a growth shape. Skin meat agar is used to test for microorganism ability to digest casein protein. The casein is a large isoluble protein in skin meat. It's digest by organism enzyme casing is broken down into small amino acid and peptide. Clear patch on the agar plate indicate regions where casing has been broken down. Conclusion In the conclusion, through gram staining test, the isolation and screening of Bacillus subtilis, which producing protein in soil, successfully being determined. As for the casing hydrolysis, positive test shows the presence of protease of Bacillus subtilis in soil. These are reference. Thank you for watching.